Good day, guys. Welcome to today's biology lesson. This morning, we'll be looking at the topic of homeostasis and we'll be discussing kidney as a subtopic. Now, let's go to our objectives. At the end of this lesson, I'd expect everyone to be able to describe the structures of the kidney, explain how the kidney functions, and discuss the factors affecting the functioning of the kidneys. Now, as a way to describe the kidney, we we'll say it's a B-shaped organ, which is reddish brown in color. We have the outer cortex layer of the kidney, and we have the inner medulla part of the kidney. Then we have the renal arteries and renal veins in the kidney. The renal arteries will bring in oxygenated blood into the kidney, while the renal veins will take out blood from the kidney. We have numerous nephrons that run through the cortex and the medulla. That's the cortex part, the outer part, and the inner part of the kidney. Now, let's have the structure of the kidney up. We have the cortex as the outer part, just like I explained. We'll look at it at this part. This is the cortex and the medulla in the inner part. That is this side of this diagram. This is the medulla. is in the innermost part and cortex at the outermost part of the kidney. Functions of the kidney. Number one, we have the osmoregulation. Now, this is the ability of the kidney to maintain the salt water balance in the body. Now, it does this by when the blood is poorly concentrated, that is, it has little um, salt, amino acids, and all that, the kidney tubules would absorb more water from the kidney leading to passing out of large volume of urine. But when the blood is highly concentrated, when the blood is highly concentrated, the kidney will not be able to absorb enough water from it as it will be losing water to the blood. Then action of antidiuretic hormone can come in here to help in reabsorption of water in order to maintain the water salt content of the body. Then we have the excretion. We have the, through the ultrafiltration, selective reabsorption, and hormonal secretion, the kidney is able to carry out, produce urine, and pass it out of the body. This we will discuss in the first topic of the term. Then maintenance of acid-base balance. The kidney is able to maintain acid-base balance in the body in the sense where we have more acid in the body. When we have more acids in the body, the kidney will pass out more acid out of the body you know, to balance the content of acid in the body. Then when we have more base in the body, the kidney will pass out excess salts in order to balance the base level of the body. Now let's look at the factors affecting the functioning of the kidney. Number one, we have the drugs. Drugs such as diuretics, antibiotics, antiviral drugs, and so on, when taken in the wrong quantity, can damage our kidneys. Then we have the habitats. We have freshwater habitats and marine water habitats. I'm going to be describing one of them. In freshwater habitats, animals that are found there, they tend to have high cell, highly concentrated cell contents compared to their environment. This will lead to them absorbing more water from their environment than normal. And at the end of this, in order to balance the water content absorbed, the kidney will help to expel excess um, cell content, that's excess salt in the animal's body, in order to have the same concentration, or fairly constant concentration with their environment. Same applies to marine habitats. Another factor is environmental temperature. When we have um, a fall in temperature, that's cold season, we tend to pass out more urine as less sweat is lost. Then when we have hot season, we tend to pass out less urine as more water is lost through sweat from the body. Then the diseases of the kidney. Now, when the kidney develops 
one, two, or three diseases, it leads to the permanent or temporal damage of the kidney. An example of these diseases are kidney stones, nephritis, edema, diuresis, and so on and so forth. We'll be discussing this in our next class, and I'll be meeting you in the Google Classroom. With this, I come to the end of my presentation. I'll be meeting you in the Google Classroom. We'll be discussing further on this topic, and we'll be, um, I'll be passing out plastics for you to do, and I'll be entertaining your questions. For now, I'll say bye, stay safe.